Google has a, a big list of stuff now that does machine learning. I think it's like the the Google Photos uh, search does all sorts of crazy uh, machine vision stuff. Um, uh, Inbox has smart replies mm -hmm. where it will kind of type most of the message for you. That's all machine learning. Uh, they are doing, you know, their crazy Go thing, which they're going to take on. They did beat the fourth best Go player. Now they're going to try to beat the best <laughs> Go player in the world. Uh, so it's going to be the Go Super Bowl. I'm super excited for that. I hope they bring back the same the same announcers as last time because that was they were great was weren't awesome. they i loved watching them yeah. but uh do you agree stacy that that uh, i mean i think this is where innovation happens is you take existing stuff and you add in this case intelligence to it that it, well oh, look at your yeah. car yes and well and you could look at everything and i think with what google was talking about is they started putting the story around it they've been investing in right. machine learning for forever years yeah uh, and the stuff that people are trying to do with this is freaking amazing. And, but we also talk about it like it's better than it actually is. So if people don't actually understand <laughs> what's happening, they're like, ah, we get all the conversations about machines taking over the world, killing off the human race. Right. But we also have these crazy outs outsized expectations for what it's going to do. And we're so not there yet. Well, just as in 1995, oh. uh, the internet uh, coating you applied to the thin candy shell coating you applied to magazines wasn't so hot. Oh, sure. <laughs> yeah. But we've come a long way. Go ahead, Jeff. Stacey. No, no, I'll let Jeff go, and then, it's, yeah. then we'll go back to Stacey. You know, I, I think the, the, the big thing that I see is that in a machine learning world, in a conversational world, where it can anticipate your questions, get you answers, it, it disambiguates media so much more. Yeah. There's no need to go to a destination. There's no need to go to a place to get something. If the, if the machine can get it for you and can anticipate your needs and bring it to you, which is great, it'd be wonderful. But where where do we um, put ourselves, support our brands, and all that? Very unknown. And that's what people are struggling with, isn't it? Oh, you bet. I think there's like Google now, which is not the smartest thing, but it is smart. That offers me websites that I visit a lot. It offers me <laughs> the topics I'm interested in, like Kim Kardashian. <laughs> I keep trying not to click on it, but when it shows it's it hard to me, not I'm like, to. oh, mm. I'm so, you know, but it's figured that out and it actually figures out the places I go the most. So in a way, it, it helps me stay in touch with brands that I might kind of forget about. So that's the kind of positive side. I was going to say though, what we don't know yet is the big shift in monetization, the big economic shift that's going to come from AI. So if you think about the internet as a distribution model and what that did there, and then the way that that was kind of monetized, I'm very curious to see what changes with AI. 